CataractCoach.com, corneal epithelial bubble. Why did this happen and what should you do now? So our guest surgeon is ending this video. I want to show you the incision here of the surgery. The incision looks pretty good. Normal incision, I'll take it. The patient is, uh, has a cataract, little tripan blue dye, surgeon sitting superiorly. We've obviously sped up the video here just to get to the good part. Let's kind of cut through the rest very quickly. That's an easy part of the surgery. And the question is, why do you get this epithelial bubble? Well, we know the cornea has multiple layers, right? So that epithelial layer is being separated away and there's a bubble formation there. And part of it's gonna come from our probe and that forced infusion that we put in the eye. So the phaco probe here, the groove being made, cataract surgery being done, all looks pretty reasonable here. Looks like the splitting of the nucleus with a pre-chopper, freeing it up, more pre-chopper action here, and then finally taking the pieces out. And look where the infusion sleeve is for the phaco tip. That looks pretty reasonable. See how the infusion, those two side ports are well within the anterior chamber of the eye. And because of that, they're okay. But as you pull the probe tip out and the infusion ends up pushing underneath that epithelial layer, look at the, where the infusion sleeve is and where that port is. And as he pulls back a little bit, look, it fills up and it dissects. So it lifts epithelium off of Bowman's layer. And so taking that piece out and he retracts the probe again, and there you see a little bit more of the bubble formation. And so this bubble formation is because we're patient has loose epithelium to begin with, and some patients are more prone to this than others, but you've got to watch carefully where the infusion ports are. There's another big danger. If the infusion ports are pushing into the stroma of the incision and not in the eye, what happens? You can actually lose the amount of infusion in the eye and you can have an imbalance. You can aspirate more fluid than you are pulling out. So there's that bubble forming again, and especially as you pull this probe and retract it, and that probe pulls back, it's gonna cause more of that fluid of the BSS infusion to go lift that corneal epithelium up, and there's the bubble again. Now you can push it back down, but it may recur, and you may just have to remove that epithelium. Now that epithelium has been dissected off of Bowman's. It's not gonna go back down there. It's not gonna heal back. So at this point, you may as well just remove it. And so those are those at this point may not be viable epithelial cells for the cornea. So this hasn't happened to me in a very long time, but it can happen to any surgeon. And especially if the patient has loose epithelium to begin with, and if you're not careful in the way that you place your infusion sleeve. And if you allow that infusion to go underneath there and dissect it, it'll lift it up and there's that bubble again. So my advice here would be to go ahead and just puncture that and scrape off that epithelium and then let it heal in later. So there's the puncture, looks good, and this will now do okay. But you may as well just remove all those epithelial cells that are not going to survive. They're gonna to have to just be scraped off and it'll grow back. And here at the end, you can see it again. So again, just de-roof it or unroof the whole thing and you'll be fine. Thanks for watching.